The next text flow we're going to have here is going to be the page flow. And the page flow is, I'm going to take out these pages here so we're good back to one single page. That has no bearing on how this flows. File place, navigate to my document. If I hold down my shift key, or sorry, my option and my shift key, this is the page flow cursor. The page flow cursor will allow us to go in. Where we click at that on the page is where the container is going to start, but it's going to pay attention to your margins and columns on the page. So right now I have a blank page. If I start about a third of the way down and I shift option click, it will go to my margins right where I click and it'll fill the entire page. Fine. But watch this. I'm going to create a new document here, but I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to my layout. I'm going to say I want two columns on my page here. I'm going to set my margins. So there's my new document because when I flow my copy in, I actually want two columns in here. So we're just going to walk this through and we're going to plan ahead more and more until we do the full on shebang. So file place, grab my document, hold down my shift and my option, which is going to be my page flow cursor. If I start right here, that's where it's going to start. And I do that and now it actually pays attention to my layout. So I put my margins and columns in there. I use my shift option for my page flow cursor. It is paying attention to my page layout. I set this up initially in here. So now all my other pages here, if it was two or three or four columns, horizontal or vertical, it will automatically snap to those as well. That's great. That's super nice to have because that's one less thing that I have to manually do. If I manually do this, I run the risk of having columns that are too wide or too narrow, not snapping to the guides here. So however I lay out my initial document page and I use the shift option for my page flow cursor, it is going to map to my margins and columns of my page. Not bad, huh?